happy to Hi, see you everybody. too. Oh my gosh. Since turning 40, I am just like taking everything in so much more than I was in my 20s. So I want to see like everybody's face. I want to know the like love and friendliness in this room. It's so funny too, because I hear that you are an incredibly determined person. Yeah. And I've known you a little bit over the yeah. years and we have a connection, which we'll get into. <laughs> um, but you don't give up on things. Right. Like I go to horseback riding, yeah. like what's the story that there? That can be, I think, a really good thing. Like that served me very well when, it, when it's come to my career, for sure. Um, obviously there's like a pretty um, now famous Blue Crush story, like that really set my career off. But I think it can also be, this is something I learned throughout my 30s and turning 40 is the importance as well of letting go. And, um, you know, cause we've both gone through divorces Yes. And that was the big lesson for me, which was, um, we're just going to jump, jump right in. We had a whole plan. It's out the window. My <laughs> kind of conversation. <laughs> I know. I was like, let's do it. Um, I, I think that like for someone who really doesn't want to fail at things and who wants to like be so determined and, um, you know, disciplined and, you know, the idea of failing a marriage was so heartbreaking. Like it just, oh, I... It's still hard. It's still hard to think about. Um, but ultimately, it, that experience, the process of understanding that, um, to me, it became not a failure, but it became the completion of a chapter and understanding that that's really what life is. If life, this is going to sound very esoteric, but if life is the book, it's like how beautiful to have chapters, how beautiful to have pages. And so I'm, I'm really grateful for that. And how do you let go? Because again, like I'm learning that. Yeah. I, I have held on white knuckle, monkey grip tight yeah. so much in my life. There's a very famous um, Buddha saying actually that says one grips the tightest before letting go, which I found to be quite helpful to me. And I know that having sort of been very aligned in the past with like a very A-type personality and real like kind of control, like finding a lot, I wrote this in my 40th letter to myself, was, you know, you were more comfortable with control than you were with, um, you know, more comfortable with structure than you were with just sort of letting go of things. And I'll tell you, I'm a lot happier letting go. My, one of my new favorite things is saying like, oh, that's not my problem. Do you know Glennon Doyle? Yes, yeah. of course. I, Untamed I, yes. Love and her podcast, was, everything. Me too. So that was that was a real like, Bible for me, like um, going through my divorce. I don't know if I, I mean divorced before that book came yeah, out. Yeah, I've been married three times. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm like, I gotta either be like Liz Taylor and that. just keep going and yeah. be awesome, <laughs> or I gotta call it for the rest of my life. Yeah. And I think but I'm, there's so many lessons in each one, I'm sure. It's like, why does it break us women so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. to fail in a relationship? That D word <sighs> equals. Oh, I can't. I, I know. I know the feeling of, of, of you know, I, look, I don't think anyone goes into a marriage and, and, and think that it's going to be temporary. Like, I certainly didn't. I didn't oh. even, that wasn't even an option. Oh. Um, you and I have a very similar, um, like, quest to um, align ourselves with the courage that it takes to be vulnerable. I think, like, I certainly see that in you and your show. Really? I have to give you a little story. Um, when I was flying out here yesterday from Los Angeles, um, I was carrying my little outfit on the plane and a garment bag, and um, this really, really sweet lady, her name is Angela, um, she said, is that a wedding dress? And I said, oh, no, 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 but it's a very special outfit. And she said, what's the outfit for? And I said, oh, well, I'm an actress and I'm going on the Drew Barrymore show tomorrow. And she's like, oh, I love Drew Barrymore. <laughs> she's like, she's, she's just the best. She's so sweet. She brings so much love and so much joy into the world. And I said, I will tell her. Oh, Angela, so. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh my God. But you can't, you know, I think that kind of inner glow, like that shine, like you give so many people, um, you know, just for me, like meeting someone. On the, it was such a genuine reaction. I wish you could have seen it. So um, we have a very important person in common. Um, my very dear old friend, Justin Long, a boyfriend, uh, a, a dear friend. And he and Kate have found each other in this world <laughs> and become this incredibly joyous, bonded, <laughs> Real deal, 
you know, <laughs> holding hands like the ultimate couple you root for. Oh, thank you. Here he is. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. He loves you so much. He just loves you so, so deeply. So when we wanted to premiere season three, I like to do it with personal relationships yeah. and friends. And I asked Justin if he would come on yeah. the show. And what was your response? I was with him when he got the um, ask and he's like, oh, Drew wants me to go on her show. And I said, oh, you have to do it. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, you have to do it. <laughs> and. Yeah, I was so excited. I was so excited because I knew there's so much love between the two of you and um, so much, yes, fun and like wild. Um, I always say you guys were like in the tornado together. Yes. Right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's like it's the time in your life where you're just like, I want to like feel, I want to do everything. I want to, you know, just like be a part of the adventure in like a wild way, which is so much fun. Um, and he just, he just loves you so much. And I, um, I... Look, I grew up with a family who, my mom was married once before, um, my aunt um, was married before, and our Christmases, you know, big celebrations are spent with like ex-husbands coming to the celebration still. We have pictures up of ex-husbands in the house, and like, so I was, um, I was truly brought up with this idea that, yes, the love might occupy another space of the heart, but it doesn't go away. And I think it's so important to, promote that and to talk about it and to like really believe that. You know, in asking him to come on because of your answer, oh, yeah. I asked him if we could also be open about your relationship and talk about how we celebrate our exes. Yeah. And because of it's your so upbringing, sweet. because of who you are, <clears throat> we were able to celebrate your relationship, talk about we as women actually have an opportunity, we have a choice of how we can navigate our partners that we're currently with, with confidence mm -hmm. and blessing yeah. and uh, a, a sharing goodness yeah. that makes all women look good and rise. Yeah. And it just was the high road. And I'm like, Justin, move over. It's all about Kate now. <laughs> I feel like the love, like, um, to me, like the heart can e expand. You know what I mean? It's like, I feel like if you really lean into um, the expansiveness of love, and that includes friendships. Um, it's it's only it's only for the better. Like any time I've closed my heart down because of ego or whatever, it's it hasn't made me feel good. And I like I want to move to the warmth. You know, I want to stay in the warmth. She sent me flowers after I got home to flowers with a card <laughs> by her, and then immediately took a video of myself receiving the flowers because I wanted to keep the narrative going of how we can champion each other yeah. and how this would be the idyllic utopia yeah. in which we can live. Yeah. And that is why you are one of my behavioral heroes. And you're mine. <laughs> <laughs> and so